You've been waiting for this. The results are in. Over 60,000 Americans have cast their votes on the best and worst grocery stores in America. Consumer Reports crunched the numbers and has the details on how grocery stores stack up. Senior Projects Editor Todd Marks joins us now on set. Todd, great to have you here. Do how do you great. decide if a store is great? What is well, it? you know, the parameters, low price, convenience, helpful staff, no long lines at the checkout, but increasingly the quality of the fresh foods, the perishables, the fruit, the vegetables, the baked goods, the meat, the seafood, and more and more prepared foods. Those are the key parameters that people are looking for in a store because people aren't cooking the way they used to from scratch. But there are also supermarkets now competing with food trucks, with convenience stores, with drug stores even for your dining dollar. So they've got to be in the game. All right, got to be in the game. Okay. Tell me, who won the game? What is well, the top market? It's amazing. Wegmans is the nation's number one grocery store. It's an upstate New York base chain, and they're mostly on the east. They're about only 100 stores, but they do everything, and they do it in an exemplary fashion. They have topped our ratings now for 10 years. Unbelievable. But Publix is done well. Trader Joe's is up there. And those are some of the best chains in America outright. All right. So, oh, you know what was interesting? Because you talk about fresh stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Only 60% of the people who responded to your survey are satisfied with the quality of the produce. Well, it's highly satisfied. Most people are satisfied, but we're looking to elevate the game. We want to see what your exemplars. And you know, the best stores tend to be the freshest stores. Wegmans, Publix, Raley's, mm -hmm. uh, Sprouts Farmer's Market out west, and the Fresh Market, another new entry to our survey, were exemplars again when it came to fresh stores. I think people are, are designing a different standard, a different format to appeal to people. But who's missing the mark out there? Who is getting the wrong stuff out? Well, you know, it, it, it's unfortunate, but the stores that have ranked lowly in previous surveys tend to rank lowly this time around, too. You've got Wallbaums and AMP and Pathmark, and they're basically under common ownership. They're a northeast small chain. And you also have Walmart supercenters. The biggest grocer in America also happens to be, in our survey, the low, one of the lowest rated. And they have a, lot, a long way to go when it comes to the cleanliness of their stores, when it comes to the quality of their perishables, and when it comes to the quality of their service. And their own customers have been telling us that. And we're seeing these... Uh stores function as restaurants that's happening more and more oh yeah you know it, millennials are reshaping the shopping environment they're not scratch cookers like our families were or our parents families are you know they take a very instantaneous approach a lot of them prepare meals on the spur of the moment and whatever moves them at the moment so they may buy on that day what they're looking for so stores appeal to this new very powerful and dynamic group by virtue of the fact we cater to what you want. We have foods that you can bring home, heat and eat, and just or eat in the store because more stores are adding restaurants as well. It's so interesting. Todd, thanks for coming on this show. My today. pleasure. I love this survey. I think it's so much fun. There's a lot there. There is a lot there. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure. We'll be right back.